Yes! It is I, the one and only Dr. Tom, back to educate the masses on professional wrestling. Again, there's another pay-per-view this week. On Sunday, starting promptly at 6 p.m., it is WWE Stomping Grounds, the most lackluster performance of athletic endeavorments, mainly that of the grappling. But nonetheless, the YouTube audience demands it. The YouTube audience shall receive. I'm here to break down the card, do some of the mathematics involved, and give you my predictions as to who will be triumphant and who will be vanquished. Let's start off with probably what's going to be a very good match. Probably, unfortunately, they will be relegated to the pre-show. The commoners can watch the filthy plebes. They'll enjoy Tony Nese versus Akira Tozawa versus Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak is the most learned individual in the skills of submission wrestling. Drew Gulak shall be victorious in his first reign as cruiserweight championship in the 205 division and will have a very long reign. Then we probably get to somewhere on the main card. Roman Reigns. Takes on the Scotsman, Drew McIntyre. Roman Reigns shall prevail and avenge his family name. In fact, I am so confident of this match and the outcome. This shall be my stone cold lock. And then in a tag team match, for those that do not understand what that means, that involves two teams of two, which means there are four participants, five if you, if you include the official, the referee. It is Daniel Bryan versus Rowan, the heels who speak truth, for the truth crush the earth shall rise again. Take on heavy machinery. Two men who enjoy piloting machines such as excavators and bulldozers and enjoy eating multitude of meats such as the finest cuts of steak and ice cream shakes. What kind of slobs are they? They shall not prevail, for I predict that Daniel Bryan and Rowan shall be victorious. And then, oh, this is a special treat. The Samoa Destruction Machine. Samoa Joe takes on the one, the only. Ricochet. Oh, this has the match of the night. Engraved upon it. Ricochet shall be victorious and we shall have a new United States champion. Someone who I can be proud of. To say he is my champion. Then we go into Bailey versus Alexa Bliss with Nikki Cross in her corner, I might add. This shall lead to some shenanigans, and Bailey will no longer be the Raw Women's Champion, the SmackDown Women's Champion. I correct myself. 
Alexa Bliss, the goddess of WWE, will go on to her show, The Moment of Bliss. That sounds terrible. But nonetheless, that is what she chooses to call her show. That sounds a woman of ill repute show. Nevertheless, Alexa Bliss shall become the SmackDown Women's Champion. Then it's locked inside of a steel cage. One participant who shall gladly endure pain for his championship. Kofi Kingston versus show off Dolph Ziggler. Kofi Kingston retains. I do not know why that disgusting hobo Tom put that down. It's thoroughly disgusting and pry off collecting half filled. Vile containers of common beer in the streets right now to add to his collection. Unlike a learned man like myself, who has a proper education and a truly proper job now. Not like I've been missing one. And then, unfortunately, in this news of the night, I choose to lay down on my couch, read one of these many books, preferably one by Frank Herbert, David Weber, Terry Goodkind, Robert Jordan, well-established authors, instead of some fallacy the Zeus Becky Lynch takes on Lacey Evans Becky Lynch retains Lacey Evans is nowhere near the quality of the Celtic woman herself but again this sh I shall be taking a nap throughout the smash and this is my snooze of the night And therefore, we lead, this leads us to the main event of the evening. Seth Rollins, the Raw Men's Champion, held in high esteem, the Universal Champion, takes on one Baron Corbin. Based on Raw, as well as SmackDown, for one, Senior Benjamin, Shelton Benjamin, did not get brutally attacked by Seth Rollins in his chair. So the bonus content is that Shelton Benjamin is the new guest referee to officiate this match. But nonetheless, Seth Rollins will retain. Baron Corbin shall be vanquished from the Universal title scene, as he properly should be. That minor ruffian. Those are my predictions. My predictions for WWE stomping grounds. Um, I don't know why I say this, but on behalf of one Hobo Tom, I thank you.